Hey, it's Junkman from VintageRock.com. We're here at NAMM 2014. And uh, a company that I know a lot of you guys are going to be aware of is uh, the Calzone Case Company, Anvil Cases is what they are. Anvil cases have been around forever. And I've got Joe Calzone, who's the owner of the company. I've got Jose over here, and we've got AJ, who's going to be talking to us in just a little bit. Gentlemen, um, a company since 1952, protecting rock and roll. I mean, you know, not anybody, not just anybody can say that. No, you can't buy into that. That's history. That's reality. And that's what uh, we build our company uh, foundation on, and we're continuing to build forward into the 21st century. We're well into it now, so we've got 60-plus plus years of experience, and it's pretty cool because we have the history of technology that we can look back upon from the early Gemini space missions all the way up to the current uh, programs and everything in between. It's really cool. Now, is there any kind of a case that you just simply said, I can't make that, or is it just basically they come up with anything you want and you guys do it, man? I don't think we've ever said no. So. We may have alter, offered alternatives. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe we might want to do it this way instead of that way. But uh, from a size standpoint, cases as large as uh, as rooms, really. That was really what I was going. I was getting at. Was is there? What's the biggest case that you've ever made? Uh, it was a case for the space shuttle wing. Yeah. Yes. Really? Yeah, it took up uh, the entire back of a flatbed. It took uh, three forklifts to get it onto the truck. Holy moly. And uh, it took a bit of a project moving around the facility as well to get it completed with the extra reinforcement right. and the skids, et cetera, in order to just maneuver it. It was pretty large. I would imagine so, man. It probably took all day. Yeah. Or a week. Yeah, all day. Yeah, we had about 50 man hours into that. Um, your cases, I mean, even, you know, it's become such a brand that, you know, even like you, you'll just see a big road case like that, people just call it an anvil case. Not a lot of companies can say, you know, that, that you know, they have something like that. Yeah, we're pretty fortunate. Anvil, again, started by the Vallis family, uh, Larry and uh, Chuck Vallis, his father, who was an industrial engineer, one of the best in the world at the time, and really uh, founded the company as Acme Pack, which was a crating company, and then Larry, uh, being out here in the LA area, had many friends that were uh, in the music industry. And obviously this was uh, one of the uh, cradles of the rock and roll area with the Doors and Three Dog Night and ZZ Top. And, Jimmy Hendrix. Yeah, and on and on and on. So they were asking him, well, can your dad build me a crate for this or that? And they started making the cases uh, out of uh, fiber type material laminated to plywood and plastic angles and such, and you can see a great example of that on the back of the Allman Brothers album, live at the Fillmore Reef. Right, yeah, they're sitting on the Anvil case. Yep, yep, and at the, on the Three Dog Night album, I think it's the first one they did, by the seashore, and there's a black Anvil case there on the cover. I mean, uh, that's uh, the first uh, type of Anvil case, and then it evolved into the different type of extrusions and hardware improvements and, right. and all the rest of the uh, various things that were changed, such as the outer exterior or the outer laminate, the ABS and the fiberglass and, and different types of plywoods, densities, and uh, just continued on and on. And we still uh, experiment and improve at different types of hardware even to this day. And just when you think that you've got it, it all, you've gotten, gotten a consumer line, which is where Jose takes over a little bit, right? That's right. We uh, A few years ago, I was just doing some brainstorming and Anvil being such a great brand and such, uh, and a generic brand, uh, bring me that anvil case. That's what they used to do in New York with the Calzone cases. We would sell a tremendous amount of cases on 48th Street to uh, right. companies like Sam Ash and Manny's and Alex's and Grayson's. And it's on Lane, are not even there anymore. No. It's depressing. 48th Street's gone. It's a real drag. I mean, that was the mecca yeah. when I was playing professionally as a drummer. Right. I mean, we would just go down there for the heck of it, you know? Yeah. Let's go hang out in front of Manny's. Right. And you never know who was coming in and out of the joint. So it was really really a cool hang and it doesn't exist anymore but uh, you know, our truck would be going down there two or three times a week filled with cases and I recall one time we built a bunch of pink cases for the Clash really? and it was stenciled the Clash diagonally in about three inch letters and as my uh, driver was unloading them he called up and said hey we're getting a crowd around here they must think there's a, a concert going to be starting any minute I mean that was the volume of the cases and such and it was just uh, always a dynamic and exciting uh, uh, situation but uh, Henry Goldrich from Manny would just say okay bring that anvil case down here it's a calzone case but it's generic and you can't buy generic you got to earn that exactly exactly it's been like I said 
it's been it's been uh, in the business since, like I said, 1952. Yeah, and with that, I'm tr trying to determine how can we get to the m to more people, to the masses, to the consumer, building on this brand. Doing that brainstorming, we uh, kind of came up. Well, perfect extension would be uh, cases for mobile devices, right. whether it be an iPhone or an iPad or a computer, a notebook, a luggage, backpacks. So we got together, and Jose and I and Renee and uh, a few other folks doing some work. We've got a great industrial engineer, Mike, and uh, uh, just, you know, it takes a team. And we put together a very good team, and we're excited to be able to release our first uh, product, which is the iPhone 5 series. So what we got over here, Well, we got, we got our new iPhone 5 case, and like Joe was saying, it all started with an idea. Wouldn't it be cool if the same company that's been protecting gear for your favorite musician could now protect your gear. And what's our gear today? You usually, you don't want to leave the house without your iPhone. All your contacts are there, your phone's there, your internet. And pretty soon, we're launching iPad and laptop covers as well. And one of our, our interesting partnerships is with AJ McLean, who's right here with us. From the Backstreet Boys. How are you? How you doing? McLean in the house. Hello, how are you? He's been a believer from the beginning. Uh, Backstreet Boys have been working with Anvil Cases for what, 25 years now? Almost 25 years, 25 yeah. Years. Um, initial convert, he said, what the hell is that? Because that looks really cool. And he's been giving us feedback. I got mine too, so. He's got his. So. Black and on black for me, preferably I like the black on black. 60 years of legacy, a great brand. You know, the ultimate reputation for protection. That adds up to, to this great product, you know. The beautiful thing is that we've gotten a lot of feedback. We don't like bulky cases, but we want protection. So it took us some research and design to create this great product into, so it fits into the palm of your hand and protects your iPhone. I like the fact that the very first day that we started taking pre-orders, we actually crashed the actual site with all the fans and all the different people that wanted to actually pre-order. And I love the fact that it's, for the consumer, like letting them be a part of rock and roll history, you know what I mean? Like, and it's and it's not just going to be phone cases. This is just the tip of the iceberg. So, I'm so happy to be partnered up with these guys. Joe's fantastic. Jose, Renee, it's going to be awesome. We're going to make freaking history again. again. Joe's going to make history again. Y you guys, you guys are all music fans. So let the company that protected Jimmy's guitar protect your iPhone. That's where it all started. This idea all started by just. It, it's pretty simple but it's phenomenal, so we're happy to announce this. Well, gentlemen, again, I appreciate you talking with us and let us a little bit known about uh, about Anvil Cases, and, you know, you guys you guys know about them. Now, now it's getting even bigger for the millennium, so. Including us on Vintage Rock. We look yeah, forward to... You very much. You got it. Again, Junkman, VintageRock.com, NAMM 2014, Anvil Cases, Calzone Cases.